hello guys welcome back to my channel okay so i know it has been a while but guess what i am back and i'm ready to go you know i actually just got back i literally like just got home um not too long ago and i'm filming this video because of the lord really placed on my heart to um talk about how to guard your heart this past weekend you know i went back home to celebrate my niece's one year birthday slash my sister's baby shower so it was just so much fun and i really enjoyed spending that time with my family um, and close friends so let's not stall any longer so let's just jump right into this video so um today i will be talking about how to guard your heart and um i believe this is just such an important topic you know for today because it truly is essential to the course of your life you know there's this book that i have um and it says that decisions determine destiny you know our life is all about decisions and, and the choices that we make and so i believe that this is an important topic to talk about guarding your heart because you know ultimately like everything you do um flows from it and so the bible has lots to say about guarding your heart so i'm just gonna start in the most popular um part which is proverbs 4 23 i'm just gonna read um several different translations because i just i love reading the different translations because each of them have like a different perspective and they bring out a different part of the scripture in any way and so this one I'm going to start off with this is the NLT the New Living Translation version um, and this is Proverbs 4 23 and it reads guard your heart above all else for it determines the course of your life and then this is the Passion Translation which is personally my favorite and it says so above all guard the affections of your heart for they affect all that you are pay attention to the welfare of your innermost being for from their flows the wellspring of life and the last but not least is the message translation and it reads keep vigilant watch over your heart that's where life starts don't talk out of both sides of your mouth avoid careless banter white lies and gossip keep your eyes straight ahead ignore all sideshow distraction watch your step and the road will stretch out smooth before you look neither right nor left leave evil in the dust i love that awesome so for me what does guarding your heart what does that mean and what does that look like for my life and so today i'm just going to give you guys a practical example on how to guard your heart and then how God, that has played out in my life and um on my journey so let's get right into it so guarding your heart to me is all about being wise and discerning of what's going on around you and to protect you know your what you see and to protect what you hear is from temptation from sin from anything that would cause you to um to get off or not necessarily get off but protecting your heart is all about being watchful of the atmosphere around you what's going on around you and not allowing that to affect um what god has said and the path that god has you on you know there are so many ways that we can get off course you know when we open up the door to sin when we become or temptation or you know like there's so many things out there um in life and everyday life that would that would cause our heart to be um, contaminated by the atmosphere around us however when we guard our heart we remain protected and we aren't conducive to the atmosphere around us and so let me just read this that i found online which is really helpful for me to understand what this actually means so we must guard our hearts because good and evil will find their way in and come out through our mouths you know jesus said that what comes out of our heart is what defiles us and so what comes out of a person is what defiles him for it is from within out of our person's heart that evil thoughts come which could be sexual immorality theft murder idolatry greed malice deceit lewdfulness envy slander and arrogance so as christians we are to read and to meditate on god's word so that it can dwell within us so the second part to proverbs 4 23 says that for everything you do flows from it so our actions are the things that we think 
and what we believe. And so we, if you have the right to believe in your heart, your actually will be life giving and you will move in the right direction. So when your heart is right and pure, you can obey God's word and apply it in your life. However, if your heart is unpure, you will do things with the wrong motives. When you guard your heart, it is impossible to keep away from perverse talk and focus on walking the right path and allow God to direct your steps and keep your feet from evil. So if your heart is unhealthy, it has the it has the power to impact everything else. So it threatens your family, it threatens your friends, it threatens your career and even your legacy. Therefore, it is imperative that you must guard your heart because your heart is under constant attack. You know, when Solomon says to guard your heart, he implies that you we are living in a combat zone one in which there are many casualties meaning there are so there's so much out there around us that has the power to affect us in a negative way many of us are oblivious to the reality of this war we have an enemy who is bent on our destruction he is determined to tear us down and to pull us from the life that God had originally intended for our life. He not only opposes God, but he opposes everything that is aligned with him, including us. So that's why like, it is so important for us to be cautious, to us to be wise and discerning so that we can protect ourselves from anything that would try to, or to try to take us off the path that God has for us in our lives. Okay, so, um, I just want to read this because I thought this was very cool. So the Hebrew word for lavab is the most common word for heart. So this includes our thoughts, our will, our discernment, and our affection. So although most translations have the issues of life, the Hebrew word yasa is actually meaning season, especially springtime. So out of your heart flows the seasons of life. It is our hearts, not our age or our circumstance that shape the seasons of our lives. So if our hearts are tender to God, then we can live in perpetual springtime. You know, I love that verse because when we choose to guard our hearts and protect ourselves from anything that would take us off, take us off course or to, to, to come into agreement with any lie, with anything that has been spoken against us, you know, we begin to live in perpetual springtime, meaning that we are flowing. We are flowing with the river of life. We're flowing with God and we're continually producing fruit in each season. Um, and so I just love that. Um, and so one thing that I want to share is that like the Lord, he actually Actually revealed to me um, you know a few years ago when I was in high school um, I think I was praying for like the upcoming school the school year and just you know asking the Lord to just like you know show me something in regarding this you know upcoming school year and the Lord he a lot of times you know I'm very much a visual person so like he'll speak to me in dreams he'll speak to me in visions and so um, while I was praying in regards to this upcoming school year, when I was in high school a few years ago, um, the Lord, he gave me a vision. And in this vision is I saw myself, you know, going to school, you know, doing um, everyday life. But what was unusual about that vision is there's like, I was like in a bubble and it was like so weird. Like it was kind of, it was cool, but it was, it was a little different. And I knew that the Lord was saying that like, I am to live in such a way to where the atmosphere and what's going on around me is not to affect me. You know, I, I have to be cautious and I have to be aware of what I'm allowing to flow in and out of my heart, what I'm, what I'm watching, what I'm hearing, what I'm listening to, the people that I choose to, that I allow to speak into my life. You know, I have to be cautious and aware of that so that I'm not negatively affected by the atmosphere and the influences going on around and there are several different ways that I've learned throughout the years to guard my heart and one of those things is to um, meditate on the word read the word of God and to meditate on it and to allow it to go deep within you you know when we read the word of God and when we meditate on his word it becomes life giving it like we begin to chew on and meditate it all day long and then eventually like we're gonna it begins to flow out of us the word of God begins to it, it comes into 
us and to our spirit but then it begins to flow out and it becomes our way of life our way of living and so i think it's so important to meditate on the word of god to meditate on the truth of his word and and who he is and who he says that we are so that we do not allow um what other people are saying or what other people are doing to affect who we are another way that i have learned to guard my heart is through prayer you know prayer is so essential to the life of every believer you know i i pray before i read the word i pray while i'm reading the word i pray after i read the word um the bible says that life and death lies in the power of the tongue and so that the words that we say they carry weight they carry power and authority if life and death lies in your tongue like y'all like that's huge like the words that we speak the words that we say that they carry weight they are no longer words whether they are positive whether they're negative whether they are blessing or curse we need to watch the words that we are saying therefore we need to be speaking life we need to be speaking love and truth into our lives into our friends into our family lives and we need to realize that the words that we speak must be life-giving because when we release something into the atmosphere you better believe something is changing something's happening whatever it is you're saying and you're speaking out know that it carries weight and it carries power and so for me before i even before i even open up my bible when i you know in my time with the lord i'm praying and i'm, and I'm asking the lord to show me what to read first off i don't just start reading my bible i ask him the lord to show me what does he want me to read this day and so that he can give me specific revelation and and so that i can hear what he's saying um, for that day and i'm praying and i'm asking the lord to open up my eyes so that i can see what he is saying open up my ears so i can hear what he's saying give me give me wisdom give me direction Shh, you know uh, uh, do not allow me to miss what you're saying as i read your word god show me let the word stick out of the page let me get it let me understand it lord because i know that in within myself i i cannot accurately read this bible with you know and gain wisdom and revelation on my own i know i need the holy spirit so i'm praying before i even open up my bible i'm praying i'm asking the lord to reveal to me what it is he is saying reveal his heart to me reveal his will to me reveal what he what he has for me and so even more I'm reading the Bible you know once he reveals that to me and when I begin to like um, when I open up my Bible and I begin to read it I'm praying all I'm praying all throughout it and I'm making declarations I'm making decrees I'm um, over myself over my family over my friends over anybody of the Lord you know come whatever um, person you know may come to mind but I'm praying and I'm coming into agreement with the Word of God over my life and over my situation and then even afterward I'm praying and I'm continuing to meditate on the Word I'm saying Lord allow this to go deep within my spirit give me a deeper revelation of inside of your word you know so and so that's just one way so the first way to guard your heart is to read and to meditate on the word of god the second way is to pray and then the third way that um i absolutely love and adore probably my favorite way is to worship it's through worship you know i love 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 you know just having that time with the lord where i can just honor him and bless him you know through my worship and through praise um so worship um i think there's so much power in worship because it takes our mind off of our situation off of what we're dealing with and what we're going through and it puts the attention on the lord and it honors him and lifts up and we're focusing on who he is we're focusing on his goodness and we're acknowledging who he is and what he's done and and that just really whenever we take our mind off of our situation and we put it on the lord and we put our focus and our and our attention on him it allows just it like takes a load off your shoulders realizing like like you may, like i may not have what it takes i may not have the skills i may not have the talent i may not have the gifts to do whatever it is that i'm that i'm supposed to do but i know that i know the one who does i know the one who holds the world in his hands i know that one 
who I can trust, the one who is faithful, the one who loves me, the one who is working it all out for my good. And whenever I'm worshiping the Lord and when I'm honoring him and blessing him and thanking him for his goodness, that's when I can truly put everything into perspective and to know like he is the one who fights for me. He is the one who defends me. He is the one who's going to make a way where there seems to be no way. And so those are just three practical examples of of what I have done to really help me to guard my heart. And so um, let me give you guys an example. There's two examples I want to share with you. But the first example is a not so good way <laughs> of guarding your heart. Okay, so funny story. Um, so these past few months, actually, I've really been praying and I've really been seeking the Lord in regards to my future, right? Um, you know, once I graduate from college, like what career path um, do you want from me, Lord? You know, I've really been praying and seeking him and asking him to show me what is the next step for me to take. So recently he revealed that to me and it was like so much clarity and like I just had so much joy and excitement and I was just, just head over heels and I was just like, oh my goodness, like I've been praying for this, for this thing for a for months and finally like the lord revealed it to me and i'm just like so excited for my future i'm excited for the life that he has for me and then so i was telling a friend about it and he you know keep in mind like he i know he had good intentions and that he was just you know looking out for me he's like okay well cool that's great and all but he was like you could take it a step further if you you know it's basically the same exact thing but you're working with the bigger bucks you know you're going to be making a lot more money da, 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 da. like he had so many good points and it was and it made a lot of sense and, and it was true and i everything that he said I, i'm sure was factual however after that conversation i was really shook it y'all i was like oh my gosh like wait god like i was doubting what the lord had showed me and what he had revealed to me i was like well maybe i should i was like did god did you really say this thing or maybe i should go down this route like you know i, I was doubting everything that the lord had said and spoken to me and i allowed him to speak into me and to speak into my life and it was in opposition of what the Lord was saying. And so that was a not so good way of how um, we can, how we can not guard our hearts. Don't make the same mistake I did. Learn from my mistake. And we have to be discerning of who we allow to speak into our lives, you know. But I think it's so important that like when we guard our heart, like I have to realize like, wait a minute that that wasn't from god that was not from god um and so another situation of how because i was able to guard my heart how it has worked out um in a positive light for me and so i'm not ashamed at all like it is what it is and i'm not embarrassed you know that to say that i have not been in a relationship like i've not been in a serious relationship i'm 23 years old and I know like that's not old at all like I'm still young I have so much life to give however I have not been in any type of committed relationship and that's totally fine and so for me I think for me being young being 23 years old I graduated from college you know most people you know my age would be like okay well Victoria now it's time for you to you know get in a relationship you know i've seen so many people my age who are getting engaged they're getting married they're they're having a child and like that's so exciting i'm happy for them however i think it could really have that kind of thing when i compare my life to others around me who are my age it could really be a devastating thing to compare the current state of my life to others and I just think that like it's so essential, it's so crucial to guard your heart because honestly, if I and like obviously like I have my bad, I have days that are worse than others, you know. And some days I'm like, okay, God, I'm like, where, where's my Boaz? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, where's my man? Like, where's my husband at? And and sometimes it does get hard. However, I know without a doubt if I have not accurately and effectively guarded my heart, like those things have would have every right to eat up at me and to really tear my spirits down. So I just think like it's so important to guard your heart 
because literally it will keep you from stumbling it will keep you from walking in presumption from going ahead of god or um into walking out of how to out of impatience and so you know i trust god i trust him with my life and i trust him on the journey and the path that he has me on and i'm truly and i truly can't say that i am content with this season of life that i'm in and i'm enjoying every bit of this life that the lord has blessed me with and so i just want to encourage you guys you know to guard your heart to be intentional to follow these three steps you know that i share with you guys today and i truly believe like it will um make all the difference in your life you know i started out the beginning of this video saying you know decisions are so important because decisions will determine the course of your life and if we make the wrong decision like yes we can always come back and um and return to the lord however you know if we make a bad turn like those things will affect us they will affect us in a negative way and it can cause us to get off course you know and so i just want to encourage you guys to really guard your heart because from it does flow everything else every decision you make every choice you decide to take guard your heart because it really will make all the difference all right that's all i have for you guys today i love you guys thank you so much for um watching this entire video i will definitely uh, try my best to be more consistent with putting these videos out there once a week that's my goal um yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and staying with me on this adventure um love y'all okay bye, -bye.